And I know, so you were 28 at the time, so you weren't really, you were maybe 10 years older, sounds like, than a lot of the people. Well, John might have been 28 or there about, I was 25. I mean, there's a oh. few year age difference. We were both mm -hmm. in our mid-20s, right, mid to right. late 20s, what have you. Um, around then, you know, we were, you know, yeah, we clearly, we weren't that much older, but I don't know, maybe 10 years or less, uh, less than 10 years or... In some cases, I mean, there might have been people our age there. I'm sure there were, absolutely. Um, we could have been there. It just wasn't the music that we were really into. But uh, we were, very, I mean, I, I tell you, we're very fortunate that that it was Judas Priest because their music still, you know, they're still viable, vital, and their music holds up. Uh, I mean, the anthems are still, you know, classic heavy metal anthems. You know, the uh, our other artists that, the people are talking about are Metallica, um, still you know very much a current band, and Ma Madonna. You know, mentioning Madonna, all of that I think has helped with the shelf life, um, because there's so many other uh, bands and or you know topics of discussion that could have prevailed and not really uh, lent itself to this nearly three decade <laughs> um, conversation about this. 16 minute video. And what is your take on the whole sort of whatever you want to call it, the headbanger, heavy metal, you know, hair metal culture? You know, you had the, the, the hippies before them, there was punk rock, you know, now you have sort of emo goth, but what was the prevailing, you know, what were wild, young and free kind of thing? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I think, again, I, I always said that, um, yeah, I mean, for this, uh, for Heavy Metal Parking Lot, I've always said you were either at that concert or you sat next to someone in homeroom at that concert. You know, you, it, the, it was just, you didn't have to be a, a heavy metal fan to really uh, understand or appreciate what was going on. And I, I think um, at the time, that music was very pop, but, but just the, the, the kind of fan, I mean, that's, it's really just about the fans and fan, you know, fan, fandom and, 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 and you know, uh, just being a music fan. And uh, because I think you could replace heavy metal with, um, you know, a country or um, some other, you know, uh, uh, U2 or whoever, or something, the, the, the love, or fish, you know. Um, you could really find these passionate fans uh, in, in just about any parking lot. Uh, but the hair metal and the heavy metal and the attire and the, um, you know, uh, alcohol consumption might have been, it all added, a, it really kept, a, it ratcheted it up for, for us with heavy metal parking lot. And uh, it just all was a perfect storm, I guess, of all these different elements that have kept it still a, a, a title that I'm, both John and I are very grateful to still be talking about uh, almost 30 years later.